Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Inno Tire Hold 2 bike platform rack right here on our 2019 Buick Encore. So the tire hold is a very unique bike rack in that it fits into an inch and a quarter hitch, but it also has a weight capacity for your heavy electric bikes as well as a very easy mounting system. So we're going to take a look at those different features, but we'll focus on the Buick Encore just to make sure that you get the right bike rack for you, your bicycles, and your vehicle. This has a 60 pound weight capacity, so whether you have your extra heavy electric bikes or your really light carbon frame bikes, this can carry that. Actually, speaking of that carbon fiber frame, look at the way we have a wheel mount. So this goes on one, two wheels, holds that in, and nothing's holding onto our frame. So compared to your more traditional bike racks that have a frame clamp or hook that comes down that could possibly warp or damage your frame, with this style, I don't have to worry about that. And even with your bikes on, you can access one of the features, which is the tilt away feature. So you pull this lever here and drop this down to a tilt. And why would you want to do that? Well, if you want to access your hatch. As you can see here, we have plenty of clearance between our door, our pedals, and our handlebars, allowing us to get in there, grab whatever we need. So whether it's our waters, our helmets, our backpacks, we can do so. Now, if you have extra long handlebars, that may be an issue, and you may want to mount them to the outside cradle, just in case. When you lift this up, it snaps into place. Now, you are going to have to support the weight of your bike, so, so if you are maximizing this with 60 pounds per bike, that's going to be a little bit of lift or weight you're going to have to lift up. But taking a look at the way our bike is mounted, we talked about how the wheel mounts help with holding everything in. Also, if you have step-through bikes, women's bikes, children's bikes, this helps with that. And when you're ready to take your bikes off, it's a very quick and easy process. We have levers over here, press those levers, push out on the wheel mounts, one and two, and just like that, we're ready to go for a ride. This utilizes a tray style system, so you can slide your bikes back and forth to get the best fit with your handlebars and your saddles. Notice how you also have these grooves in the tray. So whether you have your thinner tires or your wider tires, the maximum tire width you can carry with this is up to three inches. And once you have your bikes unloaded and you want to slow this away, you just fold it down like that and it's all nice and neat. Now when you have anything on your hitch, you're going to add some length to the back of your vehicle. So let's take some measurements to see exactly how much. Measuring from our bumper on our Encore to the end of the bike rack, it sits at 29 and a half inches. And the Inno tire hold sometimes comes close to some vehicles and doesn't clear the bumper. So if right over here, it's really nice to see we have enough clearance. In fact, about half an inch of clearance between the two. The Encore does sit a little close to the ground though, especially compared to your taller SUVs and trucks. So measuring for ground clearance, that's going to be at the end of the bike rack to the ground, sits at 16 inches. Compare that to where the shank is though, because the shank sits off the ground at nine and a half inches. You do have this mast assembly though, and that's about eight and a half inches up off the ground. So when you go up those steep inclines, like your driveways or hills, your front's going to come up, your back's going to go down. So you will want to be mindful of your hitch accessories. Good thing this does have that shank crash, so your bikes are a little bit higher up off the ground. To fold this up, you pull this lever and fold it up against your vehicle, just like that. Let's take some measurements with it in this position. The closest point is still going to be that mass we measured. So that's going to be a half an inch away from our bumper. The furthest point is going to be, let's see, from our bumper to the end of the bike rack, about 14 and a half inches. So big difference compared to when this was folded down. You'll definitely want to end this position when you're just planning on driving around town, not planning on taking your bikes out for a ride. We also don't want to take your bike rack off, especially since it's kind of heavy. But what is it like living with a bike rack behind you? Well, notice how our windows are completely visible, so that's good. Our taillights are visible as well. Our license plate and our backup camera are mainly visible too. It does sit up high enough where you cannot open up your hatch 
So because of that, you are gonna have to just lift this up and fold this down if you do wanna open up your trunk, but it's a very quick and easy process, so that should be okay. This has an inch and a quarter shank, which fits perfectly into our class two inch and a quarter receiver. Remember, you need to have a class two, especially if you're carrying the extra heavy electric bikes. So with that in place, it's a tool-free install. You just pop it in, get this security pin lined up, and what really tightens it down is this over here. So this is where you put the cable that's included with your bike rack that goes around your bikes and then into this, then you secure it with this tool. So this allows you to turn it to extend the wedge on the inside, pop that back in, tighten it down. And so to show how that works, to do a quick shake test, as I shake our bike rack over by the side, we do have a little bit of movement on the mast. So you are gonna have to tighten this down a little bit more. There we go. And now from the hitch receiver to the vehicle, we have a little less play. So with that, you do have more of an anti rail experience. This tray is gonna shake around a little bit though, but that's just how those frame or wheel mount styles work. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. I'm personally a really big fan because it has an inch and a quarter shank but it still allows you to carry those heavy electric bikes and it still has that wheel mount style so others that have that wheel mount style would be the Saris MHS but that's a whole different style of bike rack if you want something that can carry your electric bikes make it easy to do so and have those premium features that you would expect at the premium price point that this is at then the Inno Tire Hold might be a good option for you and your 2019 Buick Encore.